With so many families getting ready to travel this summer, there's no need to leave Fido at home. And here with some great tips for traveling with your furry friend is the pet lady, Dana Humphrey. Hi. Hey, Dana, Hi, Dana. how are you? I'm great. How are you guys? I'm doing terrific. Thanks for being here. So, um, summer is hot, right? It is. So, how do, how do pets beat the heat? Is there a specific <laughs> thing they do or? Well, you know, there's certain things that, you know, I think people know about, you know, like don't leave your dog in a hot locked car, of course, you know, that could be fatal. Right. But some other things that are fun is to get out, you know, get some fresh water, make sure you always have water on the go for them while you're with them. Mm -hmm. um, I brought this life jacket because it's fun to take your dog with you <laughs> if you're going on some boating trips or maybe um, if you want to check out the pool or taking mm -hmm. the kids to the pool, bring the dog along so they can beat the heat as well. Right. And something else that's important is um, booties for their precious paws. As they're walking mm. on that hot pavement, it can get really, really hot for them. If it's 90 degrees for us, right. um, the pavement can get about 10 degrees hotter. So keep that in mind, you know, the, their, their paws need protection too. So there's little mm. booties that you can get, keep them protected and just make sure they stay hydrated. Is that the general thought? If it's hot for us, it's hot for them? Absolutely. And keep them indoors when it's Yeah, as, as, and especially as those dogs with those with multiple coats, you know, a lot of right. hair, keep them brushed, you know, try to help minimize the hair that they have on them and keep them cool. Well, and then especially this summer, everyone's everyone's taken off and everyone's bringing their pets with them. You talk about safety for pets when you're traveling. What's the, what, what are a few concerns that we really need to keep in mind? Yeah, it's a lot of fun to bring your pet along with you on the vacation. Mm -hmm. um, something I always say is bark, buckle up. Um, so bark. just like you put on your seatbelt, you, you encourage seat your kids to put your seatbelts okay. on, um, have your dogs put their seatbelt on. So mm -hmm. either have like a car safe harness or mm -hmm. maybe um, a travel carrier that right. you can also buckle in. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great example. Um, you can just put it in the car and you can actually buckle the straps in. So there's in. a strap for the buckle and yep. everything, right? You just, because you don't want to have your pet become a projectile, right? That becomes no. dangerous in the car. <laughs> no, um, it. It's also great, you know, if you're going to be flying or taking the train. Um, mm -hmm. You know, all different trains now and Amtrak are encouraging people to bring their pets as well. Right. So as long as you have safe in, uh, safe enclosure for them, you right. can bring them along. Do so, they all have to be in something? Yes. They all do. They do, yeah. So big dogs are all staying home this summer. Well, um, for big dogs. <laughs> for big dogs. What about the big true. dogs? They can't go on vacation? That, that's right. Yeah. They're, no, no, of course. They're, they're, they should. Right? There are safe containment options for big dogs, too. I mean, little dogs obviously like to go in little carriers like this, but right. a big dog, you can check out Sturdy Products. They have these pop-up containments that are totally safe for the train or um, if you're going to be traveling that way. Right. So any tips for flying? I mean, I'm yeah. sure that's... Definitely go for a run that morning. You know, if you're going to be going on a long flight, get mm. out all their energy first. Oh, that's smart. Um, yeah. Don't give them a lot of food. You know, maybe, you know, keep that um, at low. Mm -hmm. um, definitely bring safe water at any medications. You never know when you're going to get delayed, so you want to have everything with you. And certain airports now are pet friendly. So if you're flying through Atlanta um, or some other cities, check first because they do have pet relief areas um, where they have grass mm. and they have little stations where you can bring your pet. So it's something to check out. You basically want to treat your pet like your kid. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's They're part of your family. Everything you told me is all the advice I get when bringing a kid <laughs> with me if I need to travel anywhere. Yeah, Absolutely. 100 percent. I mean, and also something great, you know, while you're on the plane, you can bring some smart bones, um, keep your pet busy, you know, they're not going to be crying if they're busy chewing on a fun bone that they like, you know. Um, Again, so. I've done that with my kid. Yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> like, like, it's doggy like, bones you know, are fine, like hours and hours of fun, it's perfect. <laughs> right. so. Yeah, exactly. Is it different with the train though? I mean, I know that trains are, are they as strict as, as the airlines maybe? Or? Well, um, for example, Amtrak hasn't been pet friendly for many years, and it's they a have new not. yeah, it's a new thing okay. that you can now take your pets on the train. So hmm. it's exciting. Um, you know, if you are traveling across state lines, right. um, you do always have to bring paperwork for their shots. So that's right. something to consider. You know, you might want to just put that in a handy little Ziploc and put that in your pet carrier so you always have it mm -hmm. um, with your you know pet emergency contacts. Um, so something to consider. And then what about, obviously all, we're all going swimming this summer. When you go swimming yes. with the dog, with any kind of pet, are there guidelines, are there rules that we should follow? I mean, how do you keep your pet safe? Yeah, certain breeds don't naturally know how to swim, believe it or not. Mm. Um, you know, smushed face breeds like pugs and Frenchies, they have a really hard time um, getting in and out of the water. So you really, you know, you want to teach them how to swim. You want to put them in a life jacket. Um, a life preserver is a great option. I love this one because it has a handle. So, you know, God forbid anything can happen. You can just kind of lift them out of the water or even out of the ocean um, so that you don't have any uh, problems while you're enjoying the, the wet time. 
That's actually mm. a great idea. That is an awesome idea. Really. Again, great idea for a kid too. Great idea for Just a kid. Just walk around like, <laughs> it looks like a briefcase. <laughs> I, I really does. Like, All right. <laughs> Just yank them out. Well, Dana, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. I think we got a lot of great information. Yeah, right? a lot of great tips. All right. Thank you very thank much. You for it. Okay, guys, still to come. Millennials, they are rocking the real estate world. But where do they want to live and in what kind of homes? These are the questions swirling around the real estate industry. We've got the answers when healthy lifestyle returns in just a moment.